Hello YouTube, Minecraft Defense is here, and today I'm back with another Redstone Saturday of, not really Saturday, it's actually Sunday, I wasn't able to get out a video yesterday, extreme apologies for that. So, um, today we're going to be looking at this cool little base entrance thing I made, I called the zipper hallway, um, as you can see if we flick this lever, well, it looks like it's just a door closing, but when we open it up, it has this amazing, really grand effect of, like, a zipper hallway opening it, like, it, like, sort of unzips open, and as you can see, we have our hallway right down to a chest full of absolutely nothing. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to build this. Um, fairly resource-friendly, you're not going to need all that much redstone, considering, um, you're actually going to need a bunch of repeaters, so keep that in mind if you're building this in survival. You're going to need a bunch of sticky pistons, but that shouldn't be too hard to get, same with regular pistons. Then you're also going to need a lever, um... To, uh, to, to just power it all, and then you're going to need two redstone torches right here and there. So yeah, um, let's get right into this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed this video, and yeah, let's start. So the way you're going to want to start is you're going to want to start with um, a bunch of pistons, like this, like this. You could build this out as long as you want, I'm just going to build this to be a 10 block long elevator. Uh, elevator um, zipper hallway um, but you can really build it as long as you want just change the design a little bit so basically you're gonna want to build sort of a too tall like I said as long as you want um, sort of hallway style thing these are gonna be the things that are going to push in the blocks chronologically um, and so as you can see we are going to place in what are basically going to be our wall blocks right here on this side of the pistons and this is, yeah, this is essentially what he's going to make, uh, this is essentially what is going to push in the blocks and push them out to make the cool effect. So, um, then you're going to want to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to want to leave a two block gap in the middle, right here. You're going to want that. Um, and then you're going to want, yeah, you're going to want to do the same exact thing, literally. Um, don't make it any longer, don't make it any shorter. And so, yeah, you just got to build this, um, to absolutely as long as you want. And then you will be ready to move on to the next step. Right, so now that you have the same module bolts on the other side, as you can see, that runs too. Um, now what you're essentially going to want to do is you're going to want to wire these up all to the same lever. So the way you're going to do that is you're going to place a redstone torch right here on a block right next to this module. Then you're going to want to do the same thing right over here. Now, what you're going to want to do is, so this is going to be the standing point. This is where you're going to be standing. Um, and this is probably where the lever is going to be for you. You could change this design a bit if you want to, but, um, so what you need to essentially do is you need to wire these all up to that lever. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to make this go down a bit like that, then a bit more like that, and then one more block down. So that's a total of three blocks down from there. Then you want to go over here. Then you, um, then you want to go up like that even more and just wire it up the same way on the other side as you can see when we wire that up there's going to be a few piston glitches you're just going to have to accept that and change it quickly by breaking like that block oh right yeah one important thing you need to place the block right here otherwise the redstone will connect up and that will um that won't be too particularly good for the design so you're going to need to place that right here and right here and right now you're going to want to break both of these blocks and just sort of you just need to fix it now, as you can see, we kind of have the entire thing done. Um, this was a very, very quick tutorial, but as you can see, I believe, if we flick that lever, oh, wow, there's a bit of lag there, but as you can see, if we flick that lever, we get everything open up in a nice zipper formation. So, all you really need to do now is you need to decorate it. And, I mean, well, you should probably build a floor otherwise, well, like, you're just going to fall into the empty void, at least on this world um then what you're gonna want to do is like i said decorate it a bit um you can sort of i i would recommend um doing sort of a similar design to what i did over here like as you can see i put slabs at the top because if you just don't have slabs you get this little claustrophobic two block height thing and so you're gonna want to grab yourself some i mean like i said totally optional design thing but you might want to grab yourself some slabs like this as you can see I'm going to build them across right here, and then you're going to obviously want to do the same thing on the other side. Like I said, all totally optional. This probably shouldn't even be in the tutorial, but then, as you can see, when you power this, it looks pretty good. One problem, though. 
this right here, there's this little gap. So what you have to do is, unfortunately, you have to place full solid blocks right there if you don't want to have that gap. And I would recommend covering up something like that so that you have your nice little entrance or like that, right? Because you want the three blocks. And then, as you can see, when you open this, you have your cool zipper hallway leading to literally anything you want for as long as you want. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this Redstone tutorial video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, build this in your base, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. So now that you have your two sides for the pistons, you're going to want to do something that looks a bit like this. So you're going to want to make a two, um, a two long platform going right the way behind the pistons. As you can see, a bit like this. Oh. That was an accident. Then, what you're going to want to do is then you're going to want to um, sort of wire these all up. But you're going to want to do it chronologically. The first one goes zero ticks after you do this. Um, go goes zero ticks after you fire. Then the next one waits one tick. Next, you want this repeater to be two ticks. Then you want three ticks. Then you want four ticks. And since you can't have a five tick repeater... Um, you could do something like this, but I wouldn't recommend it because you want the redstone to be repetitive and simple. So, um, the way you want that, the way you would want to make up for the five tick delay is you'd want to go three ticks out like this. Then, from there, you're going to want to put three blocks like that. And then, from there, you're going to want to have a two tick delay right here and then run that right into the uh, piston. Then you could just continue like so, and um, one important thing to note, you're going to want to um, put a piece of redstone right here just to connect it after. And there you go, you've finished one side of all the redstone. Um, continue this on for as long as you want, every time you're about to go 5 tick, just build that little module again. And also, important note, you have to do the same thing on the other side for the pistons. But one thing I need to show you is, as you can see, if we power this, we should have a nice, cool little... Um, sort of zipper hallway thing going on for one side of the pistons and that's exactly what you want essentially what we're going to do is we're going to build the same thing on the other side and then we're going to have them both go at the same time so that it really gives the same effect as as the example i built over here so uh yeah just build the same thing reverse on the other side and i'll catch you guys in a little bit for that